Hey everybody, I'm here to show you how to cook something delicious, nutritious, only seven ingredients, and uh, really easy to bring on the road with you camping, especially if you're following a low carb or keto lifestyle diet. I've lost 35 pounds, 35 pounds this year doing this diet along with sipping ketones. These things give me lots of energy. They keep you in ketosis all the time, no matter what you do in your diet, but the diet sure helps. So here I am packing. We're gonna go fly fishing for steelhead this weekend. In fact, we're leaving just a few hours. So I'm gonna pack up something for our van. If you'd like, I'll put our, if you want, ask me. If you wanna see our van, just write in comments. I wanna see your van. Um, I'm happy to give you a couple pictures of our, our cool mystery machine, is what we call it. Um, okay, so today's recipe is gonna be chicken curry saute chicken curry saute. It is super simple. Uh, just seven ingredients. Let's start with the curry. Yellow curry. I prefer this one. This is my very favorite. I've tried many, but you know, frankly, I've also done the same recipe even recently for a girl's trip for a weekend. And I just used whatever cheap yellow curry powder from uh, Audi's and it was delicious. This is my favorite though. This will make it kind of over the top. Um, so this is called Thai and True. They're out of Oregon. They are amazing. So I'm using Thai and True, Himalayan pink sea salt, any kind of coconut milk you like. Remember, it's keto, so you're allowed high fat if you want, which is great. It'll make it taste even more luscious. A little bit of lime. If I had a fresh lime, I'd use it, but I've got the lime juice and your chicken. That's it. Okay. So, oh wait, there is one more ingredient. You want vegetables to put underneath it. So typically, if you want, um, the best thing is to put, I've found red bell peppers, just slice them real thin. And if you're really being strict on the carbs, then maybe just one pepper and then mix it with some greener kind of vegetables. Like I have, I've mixed it with some celery. One of my favorites though, is to use snow pea pods. Luscious, delicious, high fiber, and they'll keep you in ketosis. Okay, so first step, slice up your veggies. I've already done that. Second step, take your curry and mix it well with your veggies. While you're doing that, heat up your pan. So I've got a little pan right here. It's kind of like an electric pan. And I am just heating it up because I'm about to throw all this lusciousness in. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that all of the vegetables are evenly covered with the yellow curry. In this case, it's a yellow curry paste. If it was powder, then you'd be using powder. With the paste, you don't really need as much oil. But remember, on the ketogenic diet, oil is good. Just make sure you're using the right oils. The right oils are olive oil, coconut oil. Those are the two best. You can use ghee. Ghee is really good for sauteing actually because it has a higher burn point. You can use butter, but butter has a really low burn point so you can't saute chicken as well in it. So you kind of want the ghee probably or coconut oil. In this case, I'm using ghee. Okay, so that's all nice and mixed. We can see, doesn't that look good already? Isn't food delicious? Okay. Um, now the chicken. So you want to slice it into super thin strips. You can cube it. You can slice it. I prefer it sliced for this dish. Um, again, thin strips. Why? Just the same reason as you cut up things really small on your plate when you're on a diet. More abundance. <laughs> Plus, frankly, then there's more sides of the chicken to coat with a delicioso flavor. So first thing is slice it up. And I might have to turn this while I finish. Oh, actually, I'll just bring the cutting board over there. So something about the chicken, I'm all about, you know, if you've only got five or seven ingredients in a dish, make sure they're good ingredients. Make sure they're healthy for you, right? So have you noticed something? I have. <laughs> Chickens, when you buy them from like, let's say a national chain grocery store, they're huge. They're huge. One at like two chicken breasts can be like two pounds. Meanwhile, a chicken breast like this, which is like half that size, like maybe this is like 0.4, not quite half of a pound for a chicken breast at the organic stores. Why is that? Because they're not feeding them food that makes the chicken fat. You see, the farmers in those non-organic stores, they're feeding their chicken stuff to plump them up, to make them fat so that they can sell more meat, right? Charge you more. The organic stores are going to sell you. It's similarly priced or more expensive per pound, certainly, but... Uh, when I say similarly priced, I mean for two breasts. Um, pack of chicken, but that wasn't fed stuff to make it fat. Guess what? When the chicken eats that stuff, you're eating that stuff. Don't, don't, don't do that. If you're on a diet, 
you want to eat stuff that makes you fat. Okay, so, <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> anyway, smaller breast, good. Okay, so I'm just going to slice this thin. What are you making for lunch or dinner today? And do you guys camp this late in the year like we do? Or is it all over for you at Labor Day? I know I used to live in the Midwest where that was kind of all over with in Labor Day because, well, you never knew when the snow was going to fly. Let's start with that. Um, here in the Northwest, it does not really snow almost anywhere that we can. Um, we can travel up to places where there's snow, but you're not going to see that very much anyway here. So camping season is three quarters of the year here at least. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take the Himalayan pink sea salt and sprinkle some salt on the chicken. Just lightly salt it. Okay, and now I'm going to put that in the bowl and cover it with the curry. This is so simple. You're not going to believe this. You know this whole entire recipe is going to be done within five minutes. So it makes it great. You can make it on your lunch hour if you work from home like I do. Okay. Next step, curry. Curry, curry. Now, I like really spicy curry, so I tend to put a lot in. You can put in as much as you want. Since you're just using it as an enhancement, as a spice, there's very few carbs in it. In fact, I'll post the nutritional information, the macros on this, in comments so that you can see. Okay, so that's what the chicken looks like. Easy peasy, huh? Okay, next step. You're going to saute the chicken in ghee. So I put a little bit of ghee and I heated up this uh, electric pan. Gotta make sure since it has non-stick to use a wooden spoon. Did you know that? Anytime you use anything that's non-stick, try to avoid it if you can, but if you have something that's non-stick, like these days it's almost impossible to buy an electric fry pan, unfortunately, that's not doesn't have non-stick on it. I've tried, believe me. But um, if you so if you must, then you gotta make sure you're using wooden utensils or plastic because if you get even one little scratch, one little scratch on the nonstick surface, then you will be releasing carcinogens. Again, don't want that. Okay, so the chicken is sauteing. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit because it seems like I did not have it high enough. So here it goes. You're gonna hear it sizzling in a minute. While that's getting ready to sizzle, I'm gonna open up the coconut milk. Can you believe this is a step? This is so easy, right? Oh yeah, I can hear it, hear it sizzling now. Getting ready to dance. Oh yeah. All right. I can't wait. I was just thinking, um, I just bought something from Pampered Chef the other day. Um, getting a, a new can opener and a cheese grater. And by the way, the gal that I bought it from is having a fundraiser for a children's orphanage in Mexico. So if you want a link, please ask for it so we can support good causes. Okay. Oh, this is looking good already. And it smells delicious. So you might notice I put the chicken in first. You never want to put raw chicken or raw protein really of any kind in with your vegetables. Why? Because raw stuff still has bacteria on it that you really don't, it's not good for you to be eating. So you want to cook the chicken in the pan first, then remove the chicken, saute the vegetables, put the coconut milk in, and then put the chicken back in. A, the chicken will stop cooking a little earlier, won't sit there in the heat as long, which will make it more moist juicy and uh, not get tough. You leave chicken in a dish too long, it can get tough. Okay, we're about done. See? Oh, I gotta show you this. It's so beautiful. 
What do you think? Okay, so now I'm gonna get a new bowl. Again, keeping that bacteria to itself. Put the chicken in a side bowl just to let the juice inside come out and right back into the bowl with the chicken. Because you want that. Oh, it looks great. Looks terrific. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, I was really thrilled this morning to wake up and see that I was down 35 pounds. I'm going to lose 50 by the end of the year. If by any chance, so now I'm going to dump the uh, vegetables into the same saute pan. Here we go. Bam. So I'm going to do this 14-day challenge this month. If you're interested in doing the challenge with me, please write challenge and comment. That sucks, right, folks? I'm drinking from a gallon container of water. Because my commitment <clears throat> while I'm on this diet, ketogenic diet, is to drink a gallon of water a day, and this is how I keep track of how much I drank for the day. Almost done. And you know you need that water if you're using the keto diet. If you're struggling on the keto diet, I have a friend that I was talking to this morning. She's been doing keto for the, <coughs> for two months now. And she's actually struggling. I'm asking her to look at how much fat she's got in her diet because when you're doing keto, you actually have to have most of your calories, like 70, 75% of your calories from fat. And the other thing, oh, pardon me, is to make sure you've got your water. If you're not drinking enough water, if you're not drinking a gallon of water while you're doing keto, you might not lose because the water is needed to take out the fat from you. There she goes. The vegetables saute really quickly. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the coconut milk. Some people say shake it before you open the can, but who cares, you're gonna put the whole thing in anyway. So just put the coconut milk in. Does that even sound good? It sure looks good. Okay. So we're gonna let that already boiling as soon as it went in there. That's how hot the pan was, but that's good. Because that gave the vegetables just enough time to kind of hit the heat, bring out the sweetness, and then bam, let that sweetness out into the coconut milk. Okay, you gotta see this. Delicious, huh? Okay, last two steps. Now I'm gonna take the chicken, put it back in the pan, with all the juices that were coming out of the chicken, right? You didn't waste any of that. There we go. It looks perfect. So what I'm going to do is, uh, for lunch, we're going to plate this up. I'll show you a picture of the plate. Um, put a little bit of lemon on top. Oh, sorry, I said lemon, I meant lime. If I had a little, real lime, I would have it here, but I don't. So I'm just going to squirt a tiny bit of lime juice on top. It just kind of gives us that, that neat kind of, um, I'll say, southwestern flavor when you have lime mixed with something hot. And here's what it looks like. If you want more recipes like this, just take a look on my page. Follow me. Follow me on my lives, if you would. Share it. Sharing is caring. I would appreciate it if you shared it with others. I'm really trying to share all the secrets that I've learned in losing these 35 pounds this year. And if you want to follow me on to lose 15 more with me, then just write 15 <laughs> in comments because I'd love to help. All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll be taking pictures this weekend of us steelhead fishing, hopefully with a steelhead. Okay, guys, talk to you soon.